Hello friends, my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82. You can also visit our website www.techstudio82.com. Please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon for latest updates. In this video, I will show you how to install HR schema in Oracle Database 21C Express Edition software. Before forwarding, there are some prerequisites. The first thing, your PC must have installed with the Oracle Database 21C Express Edition software and secondly, Make sure that you have downloaded Oracle SQL Developer software, which is a standalone software. We are going to make use of this SQL Developer for unlocking HR schema. If you want to know how to do a complete setup of Oracle Database 21C Express Edition software on Windows operating system, I have prepared a video on this. Please have a look at it. In the below description, I have provided that link. Please watch that video for complete setup of Oracle Database 21C Express Edition. So let's get started on how to unlock HR schema in Oracle Database 21C Express Edition. As I already said, you should download SQL Developer. I have downloaded my SQL Developer software. Double click on this. Here you can see SQL Developer icon, application icon. This is a standalone software. We do not need to install this software to every time we need to open this application. So open this application, SQL Developer, double click on this icon. On the screen, you can see Oracle SQL Developer is loading. This is the Oracle SQL Developer welcome page. Before unlocking HR schema, we need to connect to the system admin. For this, we need to create a new connection. We need to manually create connection. In order to create a connection, go here, click on this new connection plus icon. On the screen, you can see a pop-up window, new select database connection. First, we need to configure system connection. So we need to give the name as whatever the name you would like to give, but I am giving system admin and username is system in small letters. At the time of Oracle Database 21C Express Edition installation, you might have specified the database password for sys system admin and pdb admin account. Whatever the password that you have entered over there, you need to specify that password here. I have specified my password at the time of installation as admin. So I'm giving as admin. It's always better to save password. Coming to the connection details, host name is localhost, port is 1521. But for the service name, we need to give xcpdb1. At the last step of Oracle Database 21C Express Edition installation, you might have seen this last screen, which has the connection information. You can see this pluggable database, local host, port number is 1521, and the service name is xepdb1, which we need to specify over here, xepdb1. Click on text connection. Here you can see the status as success. Click on connect. On the screen, you can see we have successfully connected to the system admin. You can see a worksheet over here. Now let's unlock HR user. Actually, the fact is in Oracle 21C Express Edition, we need to manually install HR schema. So in the below description, I have provided a link for to download the HR schema related file. Just click on that link. You can able to download that file. On the screen, you can see in my downloads folder, this file, this zip file. This is all about HR schema. Just right click and extract the file. The file got extracted, double click and copy this. And we need to paste in the C drive location. C apps, double click on apps, double click on this folder and double click on the product folder 21 C and double click on the DB home XC. Here you can see demo folder. Double click on this. Here you can see the schema folder. Double click on this. Here we need to paste this folder, right click and paste. Open this human resources folder. You can see multiple SQL files. All these are related to the HR schema. So we are going to execute one by one with the help of SQL develop. First, we are going to execute this HR underscore main. This is the first file to be executed. For this, you need to copy this path. Click on this path. Right click, copy, and we need to paste in the SQL developer. Please make sure that we are connected to the system user. Go back to the human resource folder. The first SQL file that we need to execute is HR underscore main. This we need to copy. Open the SQL developer and give the HR underscore main dot SQL. In order to execute this SQL statement, we need to specify at symbol space at the starting of this line. Now we are going to run this statement. Click on this run statement. On the screen, you can see a pop up window. 
we need to enter variables that is enter value for one which is specify password for HR as parameter one. I am giving HR as password. Click on OK. We need to enter value for two. Here we need to specify default table space for HR as parameter two. So I am providing as users. Click on OK. We need to specify temporary table space for HR as parameter three. For this I am giving as temp. Temp. Click on OK. We need to specify password for sys as parameter 4. At the time of installation, we have provided sys system and pdb admin password as admin in small case. So the same I am going to provide over here, admin in small case. Click on OK. You need to specify log path as parameter 5. I am providing dollar oracle underscore home demo schema log just click on ok and we need to specify connection string as parameter 6 we need to enter value for 6 i am giving value as localhost 1521 xcp db1 this is the pluggable database so we need to specify this connection string click on ok you can see the log over here so far, we have successfully created HR user. Now we need to create a new connection for this HR user. Click on this plus icon, new connection. Give the name as whatever the name you would like to give. I'm giving as HR and username as HR in small case and password as HR in small case. And this for connection details, I need to provide the service name as XCPDB1, which is a pluggable database. Click on the test connection. You can see the status as success and click on connect. We have successfully connected to the HR user. Just querying the HR database, select star from tab. You can see in this user, there are no tables. Now we are going to dump the tables, rows, etc. all related to the HR schema. Let's go back to the HR schema folder. Here you can see this SQL files. Now I'm going to execute some of these files, not all the files, some of these files. I have created one notepad and I have created this SQL files and I'm going to execute one by one. I'm going to execute the second file, which creates table sequences and constants. Okay, copy this, paste it in the, paste it in the SQL developer. Make sure that you are in the HR schema and click on this run statement. On the screen, you can see the log. It created tables, indexes, and views. Go back to the notepad and copy the third SQL file, which populate the tables. Copy and paste it in the SQL developer. Click on run statement. You can see it populated the rows. It inserted the rows and finally it committed. Once again, open the notepad, copy this fourth SQL file. It will create indexes, copy and paste it in the SQL developer. Run this statement. On the log, you can see it created indexes and finally it committed. Let's go back to the notepad. Let's execute this fifth SQL file, which creates procedural objects. Copy this and paste it in the SQL developer. Click on this run statement. On the screen, you can see it created procedures, triggers successfully and also committed. Let's go back to the notepad. Now we are going to execute this sixth SQL file, which add comments to tables and columns. Copy this and paste it in the SQL developer and run this statement. In the log, you can see the comments got created. Let's go back to the notepad. We are going to execute this final SQL file. This will gather schema statistics. Copy this final SQL file and paste it in the SQL developer. Click on run statement. Here you can see PL SQL procedure successfully completed. So far, we have executed SQL scripts that are related to the HR schema and dumped the data. Now let's query the HR database. Select star from tab, run statement. Here you can see the tables. On the screen, you can see the tables. Let's query one of the table. Employees, select star from employees, run the statement. On the screen, you can see the data over here. For your convenience, I have given all these SQL statements in the below description part. Please check the below description so that you can execute all the SQL statement one, by one after the other. In this way, we install HR schema in Oracle database 21C Express edition. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon for latest updates. Please like and also share my videos with your friends and drop a comment. Your comments are highly valuable. Thank you.